Welcome back to ANH Sports. Today we're gonna see a lot of comments probably. I don't know if anyone already pointed this out or not. What's going on with Messi's behavior? <laughs> like I honestly don't know if someone has actually talked about this or not. A topic I'm interested in. Damn, I've also thought about this as well a little bit. I, I thought think, it was just me though. I just think most people are afraid to talk about it. I mean, I could be wrong because, you know, Messi at this moment is like this probably super high that you talk bad about him. is like you shouldn't be talking bad, but no one is talking bad either. Anyone who will act like that is just not cool, but it's just like what has what happened and it started happening after he moved to the U.S. I'm just saying. Dang, don't blame the U.S. <laughs> He's becoming like a spoiled brat maybe in the U.S. Uh, I'm just saying. Shoot, I don't know what he's doing in Miami, but it's crazy, I guess. Remember, he started with the choco of Thor to bring the hammer, and now he's practicing on real people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But it's not like he hasn't done that before. I don't know. For me, I think it's more so after the World Cup. I don't know what happened, but this man is just going off. I don't know. If for some reason, even though he's won it, even though everything's going well, you know, he's the GOAT now, you know, he's won everything. He completed football, as his fans would say, but he's always getting into uh, fights and stuff and just little petty interactions with other people, you know, maybe there's something there. Who knows? I mean, yeah. you're totally right. You have anything to say, Anthony? Yeah, come on, Anthony, go in. You said you had a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want to put you on blast. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel like he can't do wrong to anybody. His fans always back him. Everything he does. Not only that, but content creators, whether it's like big ones or small ones, they're always backing him up. Even like you said, he's holding some somebody by the neck and then they would be like, oh, it's the other dude's fault or something like that, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it's not okay. <laughs> I think Messi is the best player ever. They know I love Messi. But you also have to be able to point out things that are just like out of line. I don't know. I don't, it's like Tan said, don't you, after you won the World Cup, which is the last thing you wanted to win, don't you think you want to act more calm now? Also, the media backs him up as well. We all know this. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe now he's just, since he completed everything and whatever, now he's just, you know, doesn't give a fuck. And almost as like also flexing in a way, you know, like every chance he get to bring it up. Oh, we are champions. We won. I'm like, bro, everybody knows y'all won. You don't have to rub it in everybody's faces every time, every chance you get, you know? Like, God damn. Yeah, I give you another theory. As much as, yeah, you know, Messi is responsible for his own actions, when are the refs going to do the actual job? You know, yellow, red car, really no one should be doing that. If it's another player, they will get probably an aromatic red. Ronaldo has put his hands on another player so many times that he got a red. Mm -hmm. This is the theory. And what if it was the PSG? He literally couldn't do anything because he was outshined by Mbappe. And outshined is not like the right word, right? But you guys know what I mean. And he couldn't yeah. say anything about it. That he, all he could do was stay quiet. Can't, couldn't complain to anyone because no one had his back there. But now that he moved to Miami after the World Cup, now everyone backs him. And maybe now he's letting everything out that he could in a PSG into Miami and Argentina now that he's like the leader. That's a valid theory. Because going from Barcelona, he got what he wanted. He could complain. He's the leader. He's the face of the team to going to PSG, which is a totally new thing to him. And then mm -hmm. also his national team, he's also the leader. He can complain. Everybody will back him. He can do what he wants. So PSG might have been like a little shock to him. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I even remember that time where the fans were like booing him and everything. And those PSG fans really did not like Messi. I saw clips of it online too, you know, like his wife was crying and everything. So honestly, I don't think he's used to that. He's not used to people hating on him on that level, like fans. Or how about this? 
Do you think he's becoming Ronaldo now that he likes the attention? <laughs> like that's nothing bad against Ronaldo. I'm just saying. I also want to put this uh, in. What I or he's not used to the Ronaldo treatment. Yeah, or, exactly. Which, exactly. Which, that which means which means getting hate on left and right by the media, by everybody. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure he's heard of a lot of, you know, people talking about the World Cup and how it's not, you know, like, sure, he's won it. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people are thinking like what we were thinking, you know, it was a little rigged at times, you know, things he like that. So, a little. so um, <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to put it lightly. <laughs> so, so now the criticisms are coming in, you know, and even after winning the World Cup, maybe he thought that it, this was it, you know, he's good. But maybe now he's even criticized even more. You know what I'm saying? So he's just like, you know what? Going off now. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, I'm not super surprised him doing things like that. I mean, he done maybe one or a couple of times in the past. Right. He did it to a Champions League, AC Milan game. Can't remember who he put his hands on. It's like in the past, his personality was he acknowledged he did something wrong. He opposed and apologized, right? Like the past ones with Uruguay, Brazil, like there was none of him in the media after that. Like he would take accountability for his actions. It was still wrong, but he, at least he would admit that he was wrong. In this case, he doesn't even admit what he did. That's, I don't know if that makes sense. If anything, he's bashing people even more now, and his fans are still supporting. And maybe yeah, he just has that confusion of like to be a leader is to be tough, mm -hmm. you know, because he's supposedly Argentina's leader now. And maybe people he would get criticized for not being like a good captain or stuff like that, right? But even those critics were not even like super valid. You being a leader was by playing the game and mm -hmm. what you did on the pitch. Not necessarily what you do outside from touching the football. Dang, but I can't help but think that what Anthony brought up was maybe kind of valid because when has Messi has been in so many scandals, right? I mean, back then he was pretty low key. Everything's happening and he's being treated kind of like more hate, just like Ronaldo is. And maybe he's just getting used to, I guess, this new change. And that's, that's how he's reacting to it. But I don't know. Hopefully he's adjusting to it. No one adjusts in the U.S. No. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, even back to Inter Miami, he's kind of getting the Barcelona treatment. Honestly, he's getting treated even better than at Barca, bro. Like getting paid even better. Yeah. Asset wise, maybe not salary, but he's getting a lot. He's getting Apple TV. He's getting a cut of everybody's jersey or whatever. He's probably getting more with all the deals. Yeah, exactly. If anything, it's even better. The marketing is better for him, too. And people love him here. He plays last game, too, which means he can play longer. He generates so much for that, uh, you know, he's almost untouchable in a way. Now that he's completed football, it's going to be even worse because now they literally can't touch him anymore. Personally, I think his bad attitude started during the World Cup. You wouldn't see this attitude or behavior from Messi prior to that. Again, he would do a Barcelona once in a blue moon, but not really. But that's what I'm saying, right? Like, no one is really talking about it. Like, somehow the media just... Um, Sweep it under the rug. Because I thought I would be seen everywhere. <laughs> right. I don't see ESPN talking about it. Obviously, you see on Facebook, right? But you don't see it in, like, actual sports news as much. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, that behavior. It was the Rewind player in the first match, and then the second one against Rodrigo. Back to back, grabbing people's neck, huh? Damn, Messi. And the refs are just blind, huh? It's clean. Looks clean from here, y'all. I don't even think he got a yellow. Do you guys think, finally, that he goes getting to him? Honestly, I think we're finally seeing how it actually is. I mean, every great player, they, they're going to have some type of ego, right? But back then, more so, there are more uh, safeguards and also things that kind of, you know, prevent him from going off all the way. But now there's literally nothing. Man's, man's is goaded. Man is legend. Like, what are they going to say? Whatever they say, it doesn't matter because he's done it. 
Imagine this is not even half of the treatment as Ronaldo gets. Because imagine ESPN and stuff coming for your every move. Imagine, Yo, like Sky Ronaldo, Sports or something coming for your every move. Yo, if Ronaldo did this, are you kidding me? They would go off on him. 10 videos of Ronaldo grabbing Rodrigo's neck in every angle. Like, come on, ESPN would have a field day, bro. <laughs> not even joking. Well, I think this is what kind of what have started the video. It was like, has anyone been talking about it other than seeing the pictures? Like, has people actually have a discussion or a All breakdown right. of it? I really haven't seen it other than the pictures. Same. Honestly, I mean, I saw the matches, but that's about it. I haven't seen anybody talking about it or breaking it down, but I have seen people back him for grabbing other people's neck. Like, how, how could you back him for that? Yeah, that's not good. People just know who watched that. That's not good. And you shouldn't do that either. And then I've also seen clips of people talking about uh, the Rodrigo, you know, incident. And they're not even talking about Messi's action at all. It's more so, oh, you know, he did that because Rodrigo did this. But it's, come on, like you're literally putting your hands on somebody, you know, like that's not cool. And a either kid way. too. Rodrigo is basically a kid. Like you're an old ass man, Messi. Like, come on, you know better. And the thing is, Rodrigo was talking to DePaul and Messi came in. Messi, if you're watching this, you got to stop, bro. Messi, if you're watching this, bro, I support you 100%. Keep on grabbing next, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, he's a just, sellout. Just leave a comment and share our channel on your on your social, man. You're watching we'll this? And back you 100%. Go to Chelsea with Ronaldo. <laughs> if you're watching this... Play against Al Nasser. Messi, you have the power now. Make it happen, bro. Call Beckham. Be like, I want to play Al Nasser. For us, for the fans. Come on, Messi. Then you can grab Ronaldo's neck. And I want to see how the fans will defend that too. They're like, oh, Ronaldo probably said some racist shit to Messi. No, no, actually, he, I think he'll grab Taliscas. Or maybe Telus, you know? He's Brazilian. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, that's the, that's yeah, what yeah. I mean, that guy. One hand each. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Leave in the comments what you think of this. Don't hit the dislike yeah. button. Hit the like button. And be honest with yourselves. You wouldn't like him grabbing your neck either. <laughs>